What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. How's everyone doing? Alrighty then. But I thought I'd come back out on the CRF, do a little bit more off-roady kind of stuff because I'm quite enjoying it at the moment. I always do, since I have another off-road bike, I always do enjoy it. Now, there's a few differences since last time you saw a video. Um, I was on holiday, then I came back and obviously the last time you saw it the suspension was completely shot so there's a new rear shock in here it's also had a new rear wheel bearing because that was fucked as well like mega fucked and i've also for now i'm probably going to take it back off if i'm honest uh put the delkovic full system on definitely rides better with it it feels a lot better with it on weirdly i don't think they've tuned it when they bought it but it seems to do so. Um, it might just be my brain telling me things, but it's what it is. But yeah, other than that... Oh, and also I've got a rack on the back, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, so I've got my bag on the back of there now, so I don't have to carry a rucksack anymore. It's all in the back. And I can keep a toolkit in there and everything else, which is quite handy. But see, I've still got the... The stock tyres, the, oh, the, they're not the stock tyres, but the, the, the same as the stock tyres. And they're shit off-road. And we had a load of rain for the past two weeks. So this should be quite interesting. But also a lot of fun. Uh, but my mission today is don't crash. I don't mind getting muddy. I don't mind getting wet. I just don't want to crash. But I'll go to the same spot I did last time. Which is here. And, uh, and show you the differences quickly. Before we carry on but as you can see we've had a shit ton so i suspect there's gonna be a few areas that is uh is quite flooded which will be quite fun but i actually do have the motocross helmet on now and the gopro's there and i got a little uh uv thing on which we'll see again 4k seems to do so much better quality so we're keeping with that for now but there's the rack i bought this for like 25 quid i thought it was going to be a piece of shit it's actually probably one of the best things i bought for this thing it's already going fucking rusty uh i did spray it with acf 50 but maybe i'll need to do it again but we got my waterproof bag on the back which is just handy to have um my ram mount finally failed uh i've still got it but my phone fell off and smashed my phone but not too badly which is good heated grips that's the other thing i've put on heated grips which is just nice because this is my commuter bike so it's just nice to have little things like that but stock tires uh everything is still simple but if you remember, I'll show you a clip from the last video of how bad the rear shock is. You ready for this? <laughs> That's how bad it is. Now... <laughs> it's so much better. You probably can't see that very well, but it is a million, million times better. And the Delkovich full system, but I am probably going to take it off. Um, because when I got the misses on the back, she burns a shoe on it so that's going but it does I've, with the baffle out it just sounds like a one two five drone in everywhere you know and i don't like that so but i put the baffle in and it's fine i like it but yeah let's go have a little bit of fun on some of these trails obviously they're the same trails i went down last time but i just like doing them because i know them uh and it's just better to i want to just improve my skills because i'm enjoying it so much I'm thinking at the end of next season, next year, oh, I'm going to sell the 790, I'm going to sell the CRF, I'll sell the car as well after a bit, and I'll buy a van. And then with the money left over, I shall buy a two-stroke. I'm thinking about buying one of the TPIs. Um, they are a fair bit of money, but I've had enough of road riding, if I'm honest. I still really enjoy it, but um, when we went on holiday, I took this thing, and I took the missus with me, and I thought I'd go through Cheddar, it'd be quite nice, um, there won't be many people there, and I come around a corner, a blind corner, and there's a car coming straight towards me on the wrong side of the road. They almost hit us. And then some free boy racers were racing. And they came around a blind corner overtaken again. And um, I had to end up myself in a bush, basically. Um, squirrel, just run sideways. You're doing what they do in movies, they're running straight. 
You don't get anywhere running straight. <laughs> Come on, bro. There we are. Jesus. So yeah, that's the that's the plan. Get a get a two stroke. Get off the road. I'll road reg it so I can still go from trail to trail. But I don't know. Yeah, I just uh, it's more fun doing this. Um, but the only reason well, there's a few reasons I wouldn't, and a few reasons I would. Um, but one reason I would do it if I had two other mates I could convince to do it with me um, because off-roading is great fun but it is very very dangerous as everybody knows and um, yeah I'm getting little to no traction on this rear tire I'm just dabbing the rear brake uh, um, yeah, it's very dangerous, and say if I, you know, slip now and broke my leg, I'm kind of fucked in the middle of nowhere, you know what I mean? So, I'd want a couple of mates to do it with me, really. Ho oh ho! As I said, how deep is this? Ah, it's not that bad. Here we go. I'm gonna go all the way. Instead of going right this time, I'll go all the way straight because I didn't last time. This is quite fun. This one. This is I used to do this. Like you got all these little trails through here. I used to do on the pit bike way, way back in. Uh, God, I can't remember what year that was now. But yeah, you go down here, and then it's a nice kind of uphill battle. It's, it's, it's nothing difficult. Anything I'm doing is nothing difficult. It's all, in my opinion, beginner stuff. Um, which is why I'm doing it. Just to get used to things, see how I get on. Um, and just learn. Learn how to ride like a boss. Or, oh, nah, you know, just ride, ride better, ride. Get a bit more uh, skill, really. Because um, off road riders are probably one of the best. I'm going to try and stick left, I reckon. Oh god, that was deeper than I thought it was. So it's quite nice because it gets dry right here and then you can give it enough to get up the hill. Yeah, oh my god, the suspension's so much better. Oh, that's so much nicer. And I'm having a nice new rear wheel bearing. I almost looped it once hitting a bump there. Was it there? I think it was there. I was flying through here on the Grom again. Me... What went through my old brain as a child, because I was a child, now here, I think it's that one, isn't it? Um, going through there on a Grom, and uh, yeah, I was absolutely fucking gunning it, and uh, it was like, whoa! I almost. Did I say loop it? I don't mean loop it, I mean uh, high side it. I just went over the top of it. <laughs> Oh, I got on that hard end. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe they're out riding. Ah, that's it. I remember now. There's always there's there's a lane down there, right? And uh, I remember going down there. I'm like, I don't know how I got that because if you carry on down, you get to another gate, and we had to go through. I'll see if I can throw the clips in. We had to go through. Um, I'll show you. And um, I was always like, how how did? They? But they blocked it off now. That makes sense. So much easier. <laughs> Anyway, what am I doing? Gone into like zone mode. Um, right, where should we go next? Uh, which way? Which way? Let's go this way. Oh, oh, oh.